It's award season, and the Golden Globe nominations just came out celebrating the greatest achievements in men directing things. Luckily, there's an award show that recognizes people who actually deserve their moment in the spotlight, the federal employees who do tons to keep civilization going. So I sent Alana Harkin, Mike Rubens, and Naomi Ekpergen to honor them. Good government begins with good people, and those people should be honored for their service. Welcome to the annual Service to America medals, AKA the Sammies, AKA the Oscars of government service. Yes, except unlike the Oscars, Green Book, these heroes have all actually done something worth celebrating, like saving thousands from floods, the flu, lava, or loose nukes. And unlike the folks at the Oscars, Green Book, they do it for little recognition and on a government salary. Tell me, who are you wearing? What were you regulating? I'm wearing a men's warehouse. Oh! <laughs> Tonight, we celebrate this celebration of America's best and brightest with our best and brightest. Oh, God, what have we done? It's Sam B's coverage of the Samuel Hyman Service to America. It's Sam B's red carpet coverage of the Samuel J. Hayman Service to America medals, the Sam Sam Sammies. <laughs> First off, let's meet the man behind the Sammies, Max Steyer, head of the nonpartisan nonprofit Partnership for Public Service. Hello. Mike Rubin sat down with him for a one-on-one -on -one to hear why the Sammies celebrate our public servants. Government workers get a bad rap because most Americans don't recognize that they're the ones providing all these great services. Name one thing that the government does. Keeps us safe from foreign adversaries. Okay, name two things. Make sure the food we eat is actually safe to eat. Name three things. Make sure that if someone falls overboard from a boat, that they're gonna be found. Okay, name four Make things. sure that geese don't get caught in engines and airplanes. Okay, name- that The air that we breathe is safe to breathe. Rebuilding after natural disasters. Addressing environmental degradation. Eradicating polio. Managing nuclear warheads. Do not call registry. Cyber defenses. Air traffic controllers. Name 429 things the government does. Make sure that we- You get the point. The list of critical programs is huge, and they depend on selfless, hardworking experts. So let's meet some. A little closer, a little closer, no, too close, too close. <laughs> this is for you. This work, it isn't about making money, it's about making a difference. First up, the winner for Management Excellence. The legendary Kennedy Space Center was going to be mothballed, but Robert Cabana and his team took over and transformed it into the world's number one launch site. At the Robert, Robert Cabana. He's a four-time shuttle astronaut and a naval aviator. Who else are you excited to see tonight? Everybody, I think, to be able to be recognized for what people do, their service to the country that they have, is really important. Tell me what you think about the future. Will there be one? And there absolutely will be a future, especially at NASA. You know, as amazing as our last 50 were, years were, our next 50 are even going to be more amazing. Well, you heard it here. We've got 50 years left. <laughs> No, no, that's not what I said. No, nope, that's what we're saying. 50 years left, go crazy. Eat what you want. Sleep with the delivery guy. Nominee Cara DeCastro has helped secure nuclear sites around the globe, turning weapons-grade material into things that won't do this. Through your work, you have made sure that there's not an extra 400-plus nuclear weapons out there in the hands of God knows who. In the hands of terrorists willing to use them against us, yes. Thank you so much for making sure that we're not piles of radioactive ash. You're quite welcome. Volcanologist Christina Neal kept Hawaiians safe during a major eruption. Engineer Ryan Shelby helped rebuild hurricane-ravaged Haiti. And speaking of hurricanes... Water is the number one killer in a hurricane. Storm surge specialist Jamie Rome is helping fight that killer with innovative models to predict deadly storm surges. My job is to understand and predict storm surge. So what you're telling me is you are saving lives. That is our hope. Jamie's not just saving lives, he's also the inspiration for Full Frontal's line of steamy romance novels. Real talk. Mm -hmm. Okay, you and me, Jamie. What's it like to do something that matters? And I mean, break it down for me, my life is empty. <laughs> there, there's no greater uh, privilege in life than to, to work towards helping other people. Not just working for a paycheck, not just working I'm for I'm not his own. shallow, am I? What do these words even mean? Did I leave my Peloton plugged into my Tesla? Okay, I'm back. I just had to go on that journey because I just really couldn't visualize it. 
Arthur Allen revolutionized the science of how we find people lost at sea. Emily Joy Haas uses behavioral science to save mine workers' health. Speaking of health, the CDC's Dr. Daniel Jernigan pioneered life-saving innovations to fight the flu. Yes, he's a real influenza -er. <laughs> influenza -er. Uh, that's good. Oh, Doctor, it is such a pleasure to meet you. Thanks. Uh, thank you for being with us today. I'm just going to read you a little bit of a quote here about yourself. Sure. Dan has been the go-to person for every major disease crisis in the world. Is that a compliment? I think it is a compliment, uh, but it also represents a whole series of people that work with me. That... You're an expert in infectious diseases. You've seen a lot of diseases in your life. Does this look infected to you? <laughs> We met so many impressive public servants at the Sammies, and they inspired our correspondence. Okay. Do you feel like you've wasted your life? So remember, when you hear people say this... Green book. No, this. Deep state. Deep state. Deep state. They're talking about two million dedicated folks like this. In a world that is more and more dangerous, our government is our most important tool for fixing big problems. That's really good, but could you say it more in a movie trailer voice? You would do that much better than myself. You don't want to try? No, not really. Give it a try. All right. In a world that is dangerous, we need a government that is going to be there for us and allow us to compete successfully against all of our competitors.